In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can create 60 Instagram Reels and YouTube Shorts in three hours for completely free. And no, you don't need any fancy filming equipment or expensive editing software. I'm going to also guide you through when, how, and where should you post these videos. To make all this happen, we will be using CapCut. It's the fastest and easiest to use editing software out there. And the best part is, it's completely free. And basically, you can edit from anywhere because it's available on desktop and mobile. At the end of the video, I will also show you how you can turn those 60 content pieces into a whopping 300 pieces with almost no extra effort. So make sure you stick till the end. There are five different styles of short form video that you can create. First up, we have quote or tweet videos. These content pieces are a great way to share inspirational or interesting messages with your audience. They look like this. The main concept is you basically take a screenshot of a tweet, put it on some video footage and in the background use some trending sound. To turn a tweet into an image you can also use this website. So here is how you can edit everything together. Just drag and drop everything on the timeline like this. Alright, just cut it. You can cut by the way with Ctrl B or Command B I think on Mac. Yeah, like this, make the tweet a little bit smaller. Make the footage a bit bigger. I like to put some kind of filters or settings on the footage itself to make it look better like this. Contrast, all right, highlight, shadows. Then we have it. And yeah, let's just watch the whole video. Now I get a quick Instagram hack for you. If you have a tweet image without any kind of video on it, don't publish it as a single Instagram post. Reels have much more potential to reach more people. And guess what? You can post basically anything as a reel, even an image. This way you can take advantage of the power of reels and reach a wider audience. Next, we have talking head style video. These content pieces are perfect to educate people and create a deeper connection with your audience. You've probably seen big influencers like Alex Hormozy, Grant Cardone, or Ryan Pineda popping up on your screen with those fancy captions. Not gonna get financial security saving avocados. <laughs> the reason they all use it and work so well is that they are not only entertaining, but also provide value that a certain group of people can learn from and like. By doing this, they automatically establish themselves as the authority figure in their niche, making it easier to basically sell anything. But making these videos is a bit more complicated because you need to plan what you want to talk about, you need to write the scripts, you need to shoot the video, you need to edit the video, and so on and so on. So far. Don't worry though, I will walk you through each step of the process. First of all, you will need content ideas and here are some stretches that you can use. First, go to Quora, type your niche in, sort by questions in the last month. Second, go to TikTok, type your niche in the search bar and sort by most liked in the last month. Third, list out five big content pillars that you want to talk about. For all of those big content pillars, list five to ten subtopics that you could potentially talk about and ask from each of them why, what and how. For instance, if you have a content pillar with exercise, you could list pull-ups under it. Then ask yourself how to do pull-ups, why to do pull-ups and what are pull-ups. Next, you will need to script your videos. A basic script structure looks like this. First, you have the hook. This is the most important part of your video because if nobody watches your hook, then they won't watch the remaining part of your content. This is usually the first three to five seconds. It's main goal to catch people's attention and make them continue your video. Next, body. It's the actual content that you want to talk about. Last, we have the ending. It can be a CTA or just a simple ending. Ending, a CTA is basically something that you want the viewer to do after they watch your video. To film 20 or 30 content pieces in one hour, you can use batch recording. Sit down, set up your microphone, camera, lightning, tap the record button and just start talking. Don't overcomplicate your filming setup. All you need is a 4K camera. Most of the iPhones have it. Then some great lightning. If you go close to a window, then you will be good to go. And last, some high quality microphone. By the way, many of you asked what camera I was using. For my first two YouTube videos, I was using my iPhone 11, but lately I upgraded to the Sony ZV-10. When it comes to editing, you have two options. Hire an editor and just send all your footage to him or edit yourself. Either way, you must do these two things in your edit. Cut out all the air, fluff and pauses that does not give any type of value or doesn't give any type of context to your video. Add captions, 
almost 40% of TikTok users watch their videos without sound on so it means if you don't add text on the screen they won't understand your video and they will just scroll through it here is a step-by-step -step guide on how you can edit engaging short form videos next we have comment videos these are similar to talking head but require less effort because you don't need to come up with the ideas you already have the comment that you want to create content about all you need to do is find a comment on one of your previous posts and react to it or answer a question that someone has asked now it's time to edit some comment videos you will need two different things the first one is a screenshot of a comment and the second one is some kind of talking head video where you explain what's the comment all about let me just show you how you can put all this together so just like drag and drop on the timeline make the comment like this yeah this looks good basically this is the whole concept to make this a little bit more engaging and eye catchy what you can do is you could add some stickers to the comment and to the whole scene for this one let's just use this now the video is done don't copy what i have just done because the arrows just look horrible and let's just take a look at the video how do you add other languages to auto caption next up we have motivational style content pieces they look like this once you understand the power of your words you won't just say anything once you understand the power of your thoughts you won't just think anything but once you understand the power of your presence you won't just be anywhere think about that these videos are just perfect for engagement and virality to get some footage you can go out record 10 or 20 short clips of you doing something that your account is all about if you are into fitness you can go to the gym and record some videos of you doing let's say push-ups or pull-ups for the voiceover you can go to tiktok scroll a few minutes on your for you page and i'm sure that you will find some trending sound in your niche you will need two different things the first one is some kind of footage it can be personal or business related for this sample i will use one of our clients lifestyle footage that he just sent me over and next you will need some kind of background motivational or inspirational sound for this um let's just use this tiktok one day the people that don't even believe in you will tell everyone how they met you i'm only human to download this, you can just copy its link, go to this website called sstick.io, put the link here. You can download the video without a watermark or download it as MP3. I have already done it, so let's just bring these ones in. Let's find a good part like this. We can separate the audio. And what I like to do is basically add some kind of darker effect or filter to it. And now we need to generate some text on it. So just go to here, auto caption, create. Once it's created, you can set its font to whatever you basically want. I will use Arvo. I will put this in the center like this. I don't even believe in you will tell everyone how they met you. I'm only human. Mm -hmm. And basically that's the whole concept. You can make it more engaging by adding more clips or you know by adding more transitions, but this is the main idea. But I just watched the whole video. One day the people that don't even believe in you will tell everyone how they met you. I'm only human. And finally, we have micro content. These are repurposed content pieces from longer form videos like YouTube videos, podcasts, live events, course content, or anything else into shorter, bite sized pieces that are perfect for sharing on social media. All you need to do is go through your original content, identify the most compelling moments, and last, edit them into individual clips that can stand out on their own. If you are someone who wants to get business from your content or educate people, the majority of your posts 
should be talking head and comment videos. Let's say you want to publish 60 times a month, make 30 to 40 educational content pieces, and for the remaining you can mix motivational with tweet style videos. As you may know, there are a lot of different social media platforms with varying formats of content. Instagram has reels and carousels, YouTube has short and standard long form videos, TikTok has TikToks, LinkedIn has posts, and Twitter has tweets and threads. All you will need to do is post the same short form video on TikTok, YouTube, Facebook and Instagram. They have different audiences. So by doing this, you can reach a broader range of people with your content. And who knows, maybe your winning platform will be Facebook and not TikTok. It takes little to no extra effort and can potentially give you two to even three times the reach that you would normally get. This will give you 240 content pieces. So what's the remaining 60? As Alex Hormoz said, TikToks are just tweets spoken out loud. TikToks are just tweets spoken out loud to a video. So it means you can turn 30 value-based content pieces into 30 tweets. From those 30 content pieces, I'm sure that you have some that you could potentially talk about for even days. You can turn those into longer format text and post them as IG carousels, threads, and LinkedIn posts. An easy way you can turn threads into LinkedIn posts and IG carousels is using this tool. And lastly, I just want to talk about posting. As you may know, you have different options you can choose from. You can post from your mobile, from your desktop, or even use some kind of scheduling tools. We only post from mobile manually every single time. We tried using scheduling tools, but all the time the content just did terrible. When should you post? It's different for all the channels, but if you want to keep it simple, just post when your followers are most active. Active. For Instagram, for us, the best posting times are 11 a.m. and 3 p.m. But for you, it will be maybe 10 a.m. and 7 p.m. For captions or descriptions, we follow a really simple structure. The video's main takeaway with a hook on it and two to three different hashtags. At the end of the day, 90% of your viewers won't even take a look at the caption that you have written. So there you have it. With just a few hours of work, you can create a huge library of engaging content pieces that will keep your audience coming back for more. If you want to grow your business with content but don't have time for it or just need some kind of help with it, feel free to DM me on Instagram, I will put it here, or check out the first link in the description. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments and I will see you in the next one.